Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm happy that you are here to hang out with me today. As you can see, I am at Costco. I'm about to go in to buy some groceries. I did bring my list with me. I had to convince myself to come in though. I, I really did. To be totally honest, I really don't feel like grocery shopping at all. I really feel like Christmas shopping. <laughs> but to get my family to Christmas means that I still have to buy groceries. And while grocery shopping is not my favorite responsibility, I am the best at it. So come with me, let's get everything on my list, and then you guys can come back to my house, hang out for a bit, and I'll show you everything that I picked up. Okay friends, I am back home and I didn't get a ton this time. I spent $242.83. How did I remember that right off the bat? I have no idea. <laughs> but I did go through the self-checkout, which I don't like to do at Costco, but the lineup was all the way to the back of the store. Like actually. And normally when I go through the Costco cash, I normally put all of my stuff up myself anyways. So like, it's not really that much more difficult to do it myself. Um, but anyways, I waited like two minutes in the self-checkout line. I know a lot of people don't like the self-checkout line, but I always complained about it at first, but now it's kind of like, I enjoy not interacting socially. <laughs> I guess there's always like a positive side and a negative side, but this girl right here likes to look at the positive side as much as possible. I got you all set up here on my counter, starting over here with the chicken. Of course, Jasper is extremely excited. Can you see him through my laundry? Did mommy get chicken? Sorry guys, I'm shaking really badly. <laughs> yes, I have lots of work to do. I'm the team captain of this house and there's always a lot to do. It's really just prioritizing what has to happen first. And once the laundry is washed and dried, it moves down the list of priorities. You know what I mean? So sometimes it takes me a little while to fold everything and put it away, but at least it's clean, right? Look on the positive side. I got some eggs for Curtis and for baking and some more almond milk. We go through this a lot now that I bought the Ninja blender. We are having smoothies all the time. This is what I am the most excited about. These strawberries look fan-flipping-tastic, don't they? They were 10 bucks, all right? So like not super cheap, but I need all of the vitamins right now. I know you can hear it in my voice. I'm not feeling my hottest, but I don't got COVID, so that's good. <laughs> I got these beautiful looking grapes. I am kind of obsessed with green grapes right now when they're crunchy. When there's a pop to them, a snap, crispy grapes are a thing. These 
I can't wait. Like, I'm going to actually wash some and take them down to the school when I go pick up Winnie and her friend to bring them home. I got some more cucumbers, of course, and some salads, three creamy dill pickle. I got some onions as well. Sound off in the comments and let me know because I've been doing some a little bit of onion research and some people swear by cutting up onions and putting them around your house because they swear that it, um, maybe this is like, like a conspiracy theory, but like I've seen a lot about it. Um, the scientists say it doesn't work, um, that these onions like suck in the toxins or something like that. But like a lot of people say it works and science doesn't matter. What do you think? Okay. This is like, is this a hot, a hot take? I don't know. Like some people say I would never eat onions at Subway or at some kind of uh, buffet because the onions are cut and they're soaking up all of these toxins and then you're going to eat that and it's going to make you sick. Is that bullshit? Like, I don't know. There's so much that I don't know and I'm ready and willing to admit it at all times. I don't know about onions. I like to eat them for sure. I could put them on anything. Um, I, yeah, always. But like, do they also have healing properties and can I put them around my house to suck out all of the cold? Can I? I don't know. Let me know. Put them in my socks? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. These blueberries look so good and I couldn't decide. I knew I wanted to get two. They had two different kinds. These are the um, ones from Mexico and they're organic and these ones were made in Peru. Um, so I'm not sure which one is going to be better. Maybe they're both going to be great. I just knew that I wanted blueberries and wasn't sure which one to buy two of. So I just got one of each. And then the raspberries were on for a great price today, $4.99. So I got two of those. And as soon as Winnie and her friend get here after school, I will absolutely wash some of these fresh berries and fruit and share with them. I got some more of this garlic toast. This is just under $5 and you get quite a few slices. It's very worth it and it's so easy to make. I got some more veggie straws. Hey, you know, these are for me and these are for everyone else. Sweet potatoes, my jam. But the kids like to take those to school. So I pretty much always have to buy them now. And that's just like, it's a win-win situation. The kids get some for their lunch and I get some for a treat with a Diet Coke. We needed some more paper towel. This will last us about a month. So always happy to grab that, especially happy to grab it when I don't need a lot of groceries because it does take up a lot of room in the cart. Of course, you know, we had to have that bacon, grab that again and more of these keto wraps. These have gone up in price. They're almost $7 a pack now. Um, I expected that to happen because when they first arrived, I felt like they were quite affordable, maybe a little too cheap. Now, you know, makes a little more sense. Of course, everything's going up though. Uh, what can you do? You still got to eat, right? Um, this is for my baby. He loves his bologna, Newfoundland steak right here. Um, there will be a fried bologna smell in this entire kitchen tomorrow morning. I needed some more magnesium. I've been taking these for my muscles and bones. Um, my knees are a wreck at all times. I shouldn't say at all times, but probably once a week I will throw a knee out and I will um, hobble. And then while I'm hobbling, I'll hurt my other knee. Um, my knees are a wreck, but I'm too young for any doctor to fix them. So my doctor just kind of told me, you know, the more you lose weight, the less pressure will be taken off your knees. It just kind of sucks because I want to walk, you know, I really do. But there'll be like two to three days out of the week lately that I can't walk, but I'm doing Pilates too, because I can always do something, okay? I just really enjoy the walks and Chicken Boy over there loves them too. But we do still take them for walks, just sometimes other people will take them or sometimes I'll just walk down to the park and let him off his leash and let him run. So don't worry, we're great dog parents. He's my favorite child. <laughs> And the only other thing I got was this, some Purex 4-in-1. This was on sale for $17.99, so I grabbed that. I always have laundry to do, as you can tell. And... 
And guess what, Philip? I do not. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, friends, that's gonna be it for today, but I wanted to talk about wrapping paper first. If you saw in Costco, they had so much good wrapping paper. But last year I bought a bunch from Costco and it's great wrapping paper, 10 out of 10. Like honestly, it's very good quality and for the price you get a lot and it's nice designs and all of that. But after I bought all this wrapping paper at Costco, I went to Winners and Marshalls and my heart kind of sank because at Winters and Marshalls, I found like Griswold's Christmas, um, Charlie Brown, um, The Grinch, all of these like brands, like iconic Christmas, December, like nostalgic brands from movies and stuff. And I just, I want that. <laughs> I want that so bad. So very soon you will get to come shopping with me to Winners, Marshalls, and Homesense. Let's do it all. Um, and I'm gonna score all my wrapping paper and gift wrapping needs because I got the gifts, <laughs> okay? I got lots and I need lots of wrapping paper, but I wanna make sure I'm getting the best of the best, okay? Cause that's what you're getting here on Plus Size in Canada. <laughs> You guys, we have a really, really busy weekend with Halloween activities and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm so excited to share it all with you. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>